my perception of the title of the exhibition, which is the title of this work, Grace and Beauty, I have always admired grace, and I always on the hunt for beauty. It doesn't matter to me about the, what materials I use. The end result it matters to me. Uh, so I use, I use anything that's at hand, although of late, recently, and in this show, particularly at the paintings, I mixed my paint with a lot of sand and a lot of cellulose uh, that's been made into an acrylic mixture, which gives me almost an instant impasto. And I like that, and it dries very, very hard so that I can grind it and cut at it. And this, uh, for instance, this painting, it, it's, I've worked on it a year and a half, and it's constantly in change. Because of the materials I use that are so permanent and so um, tough, I'm able to grind, take away, erase, essentially erase and correct continually. Color for me has never been in the front of my mind. It's always been what I had there, um, a pallet and on the floor of, in my storage uh, of colors. I'm interested in color, but I'm not interested in it as a theorist. I'm interested in it to use it like I would use the copper pipe. It's another element in my painting. Poetry uh, was, has always been in my life through, through the use of the American language. That I came to appreciate as I grew older and conquered my dyslexia. And um, I always read poetry, but about 50 years ago, I started to write it and I've never stopped. It's another, for me, it's like uh, etching or sculpting. My technique in the sculpture is, and has always been usually, a traditional lost wax technique. I celebrate the work of craftsmanship in the sculpture, uh, working with artisans in saint Galen, Switzerland, at the foundry. They respect me too because I work with my hands. I'm 87 years old and I've done this all my life. I work with my hands. In the last eight years, nine years, I, I've put all my libido into my art. And that's all I do. Literally, that's all I do. I sit in my, this huge studio of mine in Mont Rouge and I live a life of making. I make things.